All right, homesteader family. So as everybody knows, as a homesteader, you want to make the best of everything you have. You want to be able to use everything that you have and you try not to waste anything. So if you're not into goriness, uh, don't uh, follow this video anymore. Go ahead, click it off. If you don't mind, I'm going to show you what I'll be uh, cooking for the dogs to start saving a little bit of money and uh, by not getting rid of waste. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. So if you are still watching, you know that there's going to be a little bit of gore. And I didn't want to zoom right on to it to give you guys one more opportunity to stop watching if you don't want to see it. So here we go. So this is Mr. Pig from the butcher. So of course, once they kill the pig, they cut down the chin, go down, cut the um, veins, so that way the pig can bleed out while they're hanging. So I just wanted to show you guys that uh, when they butcher, they throw the head away. They they uh, throw it into a biohazard thing, and luckily they worked with me, and I asked them to keep the head because there's a lot of meat on this head. I mean, you can see my hand, I mean, tiny compared to the size of the pig. And uh, you can see he's got really sharp teeth up in there. He's got the canines and all that stuff that you don't want to get caught by because they hurt. This one right there, if you can see that. And uh, so anyhow, I'm letting the head thaw out right now because he's still frozen. And then I'm going to go ahead and put him into the oven and um, get it cooked up, pull the skin off since it has a hair on it, and then I'll take all the meat, feed that to the dogs, and then I'll go ahead and once it's cooked, I'll pull all the teeth so that way they can chew on the bones and stuff like that. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh my god, you can't let cooked bones go to dogs. Well, these dogs have had chicken bones and everything else. They're not a little pet dog. They're like coyotes and wolves. They're used to digesting that type of stuff. And that's how they live. So this will be a nice big treat. And like I said, you can see a little Gatorade bottle that I drank my Gatorade out of. You know, how huge that head is. So instead of wasting, it's going to go to the dogs. They're going to get some good food. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Okay, so I left uh, Mr. Pig's head in the oven overnight, so he cooked for several hours. You can see the nose has all crinkled up, the ears are all bloated, and then these are the teeth that I was talking about. So you got to watch with pigs because they've got these big old tusks, and I mean, they're sharp, and you don't want to mess with them. So I got this trash bag here, I'm going to slide the whole thing in. And I'm not going to cut it up. I'm just going to take it over and let the dogs go ahead and uh, eat off of it. And then, of course, I've got this big container of the juices and the fats. So I'll mix that with the dog food. And that give them a good little treat. So I'll take some video uh, once I get over there and show you how happy the dogs are. 